Live from WQAD, this is News 8's Good Morning Quad Cities. More gifts on their way. The apology from FedEx and UPS after thousands of packages didn't make it in time for Christmas. And here's what it looks like the day after Christmas before the big shopping rush starts once again. We hope you had a very good holiday. Thanks for joining us for our first look at the news. I'm Jim Mertens. This is Good Morning Quad Cities at 430. Julie has the morning off. And I'm Chief Meteorologist James Zahara. Good day, sir. Yeah, Merry Christmas. Oh, yeah. Merry Christmas to you, too. My Christmas wishes extend well into next Tuesday. <laughs> Mine already <laughs> until next, next year. What yeah. are you talking about? My credit card balance. I don't want to look at that. I'll tell you. <laughs> Already threw mine out the door. In fact, <laughs> I've been using it as an ice scraper of late. Uh, outside, let's go and take a look at our temperatures across the board. And uh, yeah, numbers are in the teens, uh, though uh, pretty cool right now. Right now in the immediate quad cities, clear skies, no wind at all. And with that snow covered ground, we've chilled the air down to nine degrees above zero. Actually, about an hour ago, uh, the temperature was around 14 degrees. I think these temperatures will make a nice little bump as we go throughout the day, though at the same time, we'll be adding some broken clouds, maybe a few innocent flakes of snow later in the day as temperatures try to make their way near seasonal for a change. Wow. wow. Could be close to 30 degrees come this afternoon. Going to get a nice boost in temperatures in the days ahead. We'll tell you how much of a boost that will be coming up in just a few minutes. All right, thank you, sir. Des Moines police continue to investigate a Christmas Eve homicide. Around 9.30 Tuesday night, police responded to shots fired. Upon arriving at the scene, officers found 34-year-old Janita Clemens dead from gunshot wounds. Police say Clemens lived at the address, and officers say they've responded to five domestic violence calls at the home in the past year. Witnesses were taken in for questioning. People in the area say the neighborhood is known for crime. There are new developments in the massive security breach at Target stores. A senior payments executive claims hackers managed to steal encrypted personal identification numbers, better known as PINs. The hackers are accused of stealing data from as many as 40 million credit cards used at Target stores during the first week of the holiday shopping season. A Target spokesperson claims there is no evidence that PIN data has been compromised, though. She did confirm some encrypted data was stolen, but wouldn't say if PINs were a part of that. You may have noticed some presents were missing under the tree on Christmas morning. UPS and FedEx apologizing for not getting a high volume of holiday packages to their destinations in time for Christmas. Spokespeople for both companies blamed higher than expected volume. Packages should arrive today or tomorrow. Because of the delay, Amazon supplied credits automatically to anyone who paid extra to have a package delivered by Christmas. They're also handing out $20 gift cards. If you're hauling your Christmas trash to the curb this morning, police say don't make your home a target. They say it's possible the box the gift came in might attract thieves. Police say it's best to cut the boxes up and put them inside the trash can. They're also advising homeowners not to recycle everything all at once. And if you think this year's Christmas shopping is over, think again. The deals for post-Christmas shopping are already popping up in stores. Shoppers could expect possible deep discounts of 30 to 50% off on top of sales, perhaps 75% off as well. The best after Christmas sales appear to be clothing. Retailers hoping to cash in. Retail sales were down this year, more than 20% in some areas from the same time last year. Many people here in the Quad City spend Christmas Day volunteering their time to help others. At the Oasis in East Moline, they cooked up a free community dinner. And as News 8's Angie Sharp explains, it's an event that means much more than just a meal. You don't want the, that gravy too? Tis the season <laughs> to give five turkeys, a ham, six roasts. Make sure everything gets a stir every once in a while too, guys. How's that, Fine. sir? Thank you. And to serve. We have a lot of people in our church that has a heart for helping others. Hearts and hands were busy Christmas Day. I think there were six of them here at 3 o'clock this morning. Preparing this Christmas meal for 100 people. My grandmother provides the rolls. She makes all the rolls by hand. Oh, I love them. Oh, I like them. They make rolls. She says to me the other day, I have rolls for about 100 people. Is that okay? And I said, you know what, Grandma? Yes. I think we're going to have 100 people. <laughs> she goes, why? And I said, because you just told me you had rolls for 100 people. <laughs> this is the second annual Sonia Brown Memorial Christmas Dinner. The meal put on by her family to remember the meals she put on for her family. They were huge to invite neighbors, people we didn't really even know. The meals took place on her daughter Kristen's birthday, which nearly didn't then, happen. When I was almost born, they lost my heartbeat down to one beat a minute. They didn't think I'd survive. Would you like to eat now? Yes, please. What would you like? 
Everything. Everything. Okay. <laughs> Not many people here know that story, but that's okay. Sonia's sister-in-law, Vicky, says... This is for anybody who wants a meal. And anybody who wants something more. This is about providing fellowship. This is about providing a place to go. Tray after tray. Volunteers fill plates, fill stomachs, fill hearts, giving those who need it a piece of peace this holiday season and a gift. The best gift that we had already this Christmas was, you know, probably three weeks ago. We had a woman come up to us and say thank you so much because I don't have anybody else. A gift that will keep on giving. This is why we do this. Angie Sharp, WQAD News 8. Still ahead on Good Morning Quad Cities, man's best friend. How owning a dog could protect your child from potential health problems. And as far as our weather is concerned, well, it looks fairly quiet out there, but we may be dealing with a few little flakes of snow. We'll tell you the timing of it and how much as you take a look at our live eagle eye on top of the car building in downtown Davenport. A quiet start to the day after Christmas. You're watching Good Morning Quad Cities. You're watching Good Morning Quad Cities with Jim Mertens and Julie Sisk.